Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Uh, I'm a little late to this one. It came out about two months ago, but I had the reviews sitting here and then I, I got swept up in the Dragon's Dogma one. So, <laughs> so it's time to check this one out now. Uh, the reviews are sitting at mostly positive, which has a lot of people very confused. So yeah, let's see, let's see why. All right, so this person just says, I have less shame in admitting to owning porn games than I do with this game. It's just that bad. Oh no, this game's just tearing friendships apart, making people embarrassed to even say they're trying to hide it from their Steam libraries. Oh my God. <laughs> Either you die as rock steady or you live long enough to see yourself become rock bottom. These poor developers, man, this is going to ruin them. This is actually going to ruin them. Throwing your money into a bonfire is a better decision than buying this game. That's rough too, because this person's at 7.2 hours, so they cannot get a refund now. That's unlucky. That's a waste of, that's a waste of a lot of money. All right, so this person's review I was a little bit confused by, but it says paying for skins in a single player experience is cringe. Warner Brothers being a good company challenge, impossible. So I thought that this was a online live service game and I'm just checking Steam now. Yeah, I mean, it's got online co-op and it has cross-platform multiplayer as well. I thought it was a live service game. And like I've always said, if they're continuing to develop the game and it's still continuing to give them costs, I think they should be allowed to try and get some money back after the original point of sale to keep paying for those servers and stuff. So I don't know. So this person looks like they got a bit scammed. It says, playtime says five hours, but the reality is I got to play the tutorial for 11 minutes. Since then, I've never been able to get into the game again. I got $6.84 per minute of playtime here. My refund got declined too. Should have got a hooker instead. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's no good. But yeah, 5.8 hours on record. I feel like when I crash, if I crash on a on a situation like that, I end up refunding so fast. I'm quick on that refund button. I refund stuff even if I only paid a couple of dollars for it, just cause like, why, why would I not? Man, I refunded Lord of the Rings, Lego Lord of the Rings I refunded cause I wanted to play it on stream, but it wouldn't go windowed full screen mode. So I couldn't uh, capture it properly with OBS. So I refunded it cause I don't need it. If I can't use it for the purpose that I wanted it for, I don't need it. It's out of here. All right, so we got a trickster here. I bought it to see if it really that bad. It that bad. And then they refunded it after an hour. <laughs> what a menace. What a menace to society. <laughs> All right, we love a good meme. This person just put the are you winning son meme up, but it just says, are you wasting money again, son? <laughs> Product refunded after 1.8 hours. They probably bought it, took 1.8 hours to think of this masterpiece, and then they were like, alright, my work here is done. I've saved Gotham. <laughs> alright, so this person's got 15 hours on record, so maybe we can trust their opinion. They say gameplay is fun. Story is like eating a dog shit sandwich while listening to your girlfriend get pounded in the next room. <laughs> you know what? After 15 hours, you can probably make that claim. Yeah, I would believe it. I believe it. <laughs> it's... I don't have... I don't have the desire to buy this, but the way they make it sound so bad, it does make you want to try it. Hey, just to see if it is that bad. Oh. Wow, they're doing a good job of selling this game. All right, so this person's got a bit of a tale for us. They say... I really wanted to like this game. I really wanted all the angry reviews and basement dwellers to be wrong. But I hate to say that this game is an actual pile of garbage. The same mission over and over again with slight variations, the guns don't do much, and worst of all is this is supposed to be within the Arkhamverse, which means that the deaths of some of the Justice League members are all the more disappointing. Choosing to play this game is like choosing to have your beautiful trophy wife of 8 years kick you in the balls and sleep with another guy right in front of you. If you play this game and you enjoy it, you are definitely a cuck. So there you have it. There you have it. 
the longest review that we have on record here. And it still ends with calling people a cuck. <laughs> oh god. These people hate this game. Alright, so it looks like we've got a bit of a uh, recipe here. How to play Suicide Squad Kill Rocksteady Studios. 1. Buy the game. 2. Launch the game for 10 minutes. 3. Exit the game. 4. Write a negative review. 5. Issue a refund. And ignore the first 150 positive reviews that appeared in one second with similar wording. It's not suspicious. So, there's a lot of reviews that are wondering how this game has mostly positive when the game was dead on arrival. Now, I'm going to bring up the Steam charts real quick and we'll just see. Right, so I've brought up the Steam charts here. Now, obviously this is not completely accurate to what they were talking about at the time because I've just brought this up now and I'm about a month and a half too late, but that's fine. So you can see we've got 892 players right now with a 1200 player peak over the last day. But when you compare that to the all-time peak of two months ago, 13,500, it's a big drop. That is a big drop of players. That's bad. So even in its absolute highest peak when it first released, it was only at 13,500. It's not good. Maybe word of mouth spread fast and people realized that like the game wasn't going to be good so they didn't buy it or maybe it was too high of a price so people didn't jump on it right away. That is a terrible performance for a AAA game. But anyway, it is what it is. There's the Steam charts. There's no way that they're getting those reviews as someone is paying for something somewhere. <laughs> Alright, so this person says... I can't understand how this game can be 81% positive while being so bad the player base is dead at the same time. <laughs> True. But, some good news. They got product refunded even though they're at 2.8 hours on record. So, Steam cut them a little slack on this one, which is nice because this was an expensive game. So, there's a little win for this person. So, there you have it for the uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League reviews. You can see that a lot of people are very confused about how it's sitting at mostly positive reviews. Right now, as I'm recording, 5,121 mostly positive reviews compared to 743 mixed reviews, which means that out of that earlier 13,500 peak of players, just under half of them not only even took the time to let to leave a review, but it was actually a positive review, which is just crazy. That's a good ratio of reviews usually usually you would not expect to have that many players actually leaving reviews if you remember back when we did power world power world had like 300,000 reviews but it had sold like millions of copies so it's like the percentage of people who bought the game compared to who reviewed the game on on this one is strangely high i feel like it's a little strange it is a little strange. I would have to look into seeing if there's uh, services that you can buy to like pay for good Steam reviews or if they're offering something in the game where it's like if you leave us a good Steam review, you get this reward. Because for things like that, it's the only way that you could do it. You just don't get it. But yeah, if you like the video, make sure you like it. Uh, if you want more just stupid reviews like this, make sure you subscribe. I keep saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into other reviews as well. But then these are so fun, I, I keep getting distracted. I want to look for like Amazon product reviews and stuff because I know they're good. And even like Google reviews, some Google reviews are really good too. So yeah. And while I was looking, I did notice even the positive reviews for some of these are very funny. So I might do some of those as well. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.